Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is a nine holes that I played very recently that I felt really good about. So I'm gonna be showing you guys my shots and also commentate over the shots like this. So as you can see, that first tee shot, a little bit to the right, I had to drop for my third because I couldn't find the ball. A little punch shot out of the trees that thankfully end up in the fringe almost. So it rolled out a lot. And recently I've been loving these low launched chip shots that just trickle down to the hole and a pretty easy up and down, unfortunately for bogey. Second hole is a 371 yard par four. I remember pushing this to the right, yep. And I was just actually aiming more towards the right because the trees on the right had more space between each other. So this time I luckily find my ball. And this shot felt really good, really solid contact, but I think it kind of hit the toe of the face. So I overdrew a little bit, missing the green. And um, once again, up and down from the fringe, but for this time it's for par. This was a pretty good tester. It wasn't easy, um, but thankfully I put that in and finished with the par. Third hole, par five. Oh yeah, it was at this point of the round where I felt like my tee shot dispersions were getting a little bit better. I felt really confident off the driver after that. This is a four iron shot and it felt very connected. Everything was very synced up. And as you can see, the dispersion is like super tight. That's like a wedge dispersion almost. Speaking of wedge dispersion, this isn't a good wedge dispersion. I pull it like 30 yards to the left. I actually end up in this fescue area over here, which is the worst because it bothers you through backswing, but I did pretty well here. Oh my God. Yeah. I can Pretty happy about that shot, and I putt for par. Fourth hole is a 165 yard par three. I remember feeling very pull hooky on this shot, but on this shot trace, it doesn't look that bad. And I think visually it just looked bad, but the result was actually pretty nice. I'm on the green, I'm pin high almost, just a little bit left. And I have a pretty long putt that actually I did really well on that putt, and I had a Two footer for par, but it was really close. That's why I screamed a little there. <laughs> Fifth hole, 385 yard par four. Once again, my tee shot's feeling much nicer now compared to the first few holes. And I found the fairway. Second shot here. Yeah, I chunked the shit out of it and it goes really short. But I always say it's much better to chunk it than like snap hook it because at least you have a chance to get up and down, you know, in a much better lie. So that's exactly what I do. Actually, that's not exactly what I do. I remember this putt. This was a downhill putt that I forgot to take into account of. It goes past the hole, which makes a really hard bogey putt. And I had to tap in for the double bogey. This is the six hole, 346 yard par four. I was really proud of this tee shot because Usually after double bogeys, I get really tilted and send the tee shot way right or something like that. But luckily I find the fairway here. And the second shot had a below the feet lie, which makes it naturally fade. And just another great shot, a good birdie attempt. At least a little bit to the left. I've been pulling my putts a lot recently, so working on that. Uh, but thankfully I make the par here. Seventh shot is a seventh shot. Seventh hole is a 517 yard par five. I get a little bit too releasey with my driver and slice it to the right. But thankfully I slice it so much to the point I get on the next fairway rough area. So I didn't have to drop for third or anything and I have a pretty good third shot here. Once again, a very common miss of mine is pulling a wedge especially like under 120 yards. So kind of frustrated there. I could have easily got a green and regulation there, but no worries going for this low trickle shot again. Give it a little too much here. So I have a tester for par, which, oh, I don't make, I thought I made it. But yeah, once again, pulling putts, that was, you know, not evident, but came from a pulled putt, I'm sure that miss, so. 
Still working on it. It will get better. Eighth hole is a 153 yard par three. I remember puring this. I remember puring. It was so pure. It was down like it was on a string. But then I, after talking to my playing partner, I realized that I grabbed an iron. Like I basically clubbed up like two irons because my rangefinder read the wrong number. No worries. Just you know things like that happen. Just make sure you you know laser stuff two times, three times, just to make sure. So kind of an inevitable bogey there. Ninth hole is a par four, 368 yard. And this fade was very nice. It felt very tight, found the fairway. And that hold off finish right there, I kind of do that when I try to fade something. And it exactly, you know, came out the way I wanted to. I think I could have clubbed up maybe one more, but it was a back pin, so I didn't want to be too aggressive. And just a little simple lag putt, two putt for par. Thank you for watching.